Naively compositing an object from one image into another typically results in an unrealistic composite due to the mismatch in illumination. Relighting the foreground to match the background illumination is a notoriously difficult task requiring complex modeling of light, materials, and geometry in the scene. In this work, we model the compositing problem in the intrinsic image domain. Intrinsic decomposition separates the effects of illumination from the material colors in the scene. By formulating this problem in the shading domain, we show that in the wild relighting can be solved via self-supervision. By harmonizing the colors in the albedo layer and predicting a new shading to account for the illumination, our method achieves realistic compositing results in a wide range of scenarios. Image harmonization requires accounting for both colors and illumination. In our intrinsic setup, we match the colors of the foreground and the background in the albedo layer using existing image harmonization techniques. The larger challenge comes from matching the illumination. Existing methods formulate relighting as an image-to-image -image problem, which lacks real-world data sets. In this work, we simplify relighting into a shading refinement problem, where our network generates a realistic shading for the foreground using a physically motivated starting point. This change in problem definition allows us to use fundamental rendering models in order to train our network with self-supervision. But before we get into the details, let's first talk about Lambertian shading. The Lambertian shading model directly relates shading with surface orientation in the direction of the light source. This simple model is not expressive enough to represent all lighting effects in a scene. However, it makes it very convenient to approach this problem as we can estimate two of these unknown variables surface orientation and shading using dedicated computer vision models. We make use of this to infer different scene properties as part of our relighting pipeline, allowing us to train a reshading network that can generate complex lighting effects that can't be represented by the Lambertian model. Since the task of our reshading network is to refine Lambertian shading into realistic shading, we need paired examples of these quantities in the wild. We can compute the shading of any image using our intrinsic decomposition approach. Therefore, we can generate real-world shading examples for any image segment. During training, we treat a given image segment as a composited object and create a Lambertian shading for it, representing the input to our reshading network. This allows us to leverage large-scale segmentation datasets in order to train our reshading network, enabling in-the-wild relighting in context. Now, let's talk about how we generate the Lambertian shading during training and inference. Generating a Lambertian shading first requires estimating the illumination environment. Illumination estimation is a difficult problem on its own without reliable in-the-wild methods. Since we only need to estimate a rough shading in order to guide our model, we adopt a simple lighting model consisting of a constant ambient light and a directional light source. Using the estimated shading and normals for the background scene, we estimate illumination parameters using least squares and the Lambertian equation. With our estimated illumination for the background, we can now compute the Lambertian shading of the foreground using estimated normals for the composited object. While this approach allows us to generate supervision from segmentation data, it can also be used during inference, representing the input that guides our reshading network. With this simplified task of refining a rough shading, we show that a single network can achieve realistic relighting for in the wild scenes. Our method represents a fresh approach to a long-standing relighting problem. By making use of abundant geometric, intrinsic, and segmentation data sets, we achieve a self-supervised approach to this challenging task. Our final illumination-aware composite is computed by multiplying our color harmonized albedo with our estimated shading. Most prior image harmonization methods only apply simple color edits, limiting their realism. While there are methods for harmonizing the illumination, they fall short in terms of realism as they do not fully model the relighting problem. With our approach, formulated in the intrinsic domain, we can generate realistic composites for a wide range of scenes. By modeling our relighting method as a shading refinement problem, we open up interactive editing applications. Although we automatically estimate illumination as part of our pipeline, our lighting model can be edited with a simple user interface. Since our reshading network takes guidance from its Lambertian input, we can generate relighting results with user-controlled characteristics. Our method even exhibits spatially varying behavior when the composited object moves around the scene. You can check out our paper and project page for more. Thanks for watching.